Now, in this module, we will explore Ekman's Facial Action Coding System, or the FACS, which is a groundbreaking research tool for understanding human emotions through facial expressions. And by learning to recognize and interpret microexpressions, we can actually gain valuable insights into the emotions of others, allowing us to make more informed decisions and enhance our interpersonal relationships. Now, let's take a look at what this FACS is and the science behind it. So developed by Dr. Paul Ekman, FACS is a comprehensive system for categorizing and measuring facial expressions by analyzing the movement of specific facial muscles. So FACS focuses on the identification of action units or AUs, which correspond to the contraction or the relaxation of individual facial muscles resulting in various expressions. And we look at everything from your cheeks to your upper nose, to your dimples, to your chins, to your lips, to your jaws. We study all of these little action units and based on the combinations of what these action units are doing in a particular expression, we can actually identify seven universal emotions each with a distinct set of facial expressions, or even eight uh, in this case, which includes everything from neutral, right, which is sort of like the eight emotion. Then we have happy, uh, we have um, fear, we have sad, we have contempt, surprise, anger, and disgust. Now, these micro emotions or micro expressions are brief, involuntary, facial expression. So these are stuff that happens without you noticing it. It just happens naturally that occur in response to an emotion. And the great thing about these is that they only last a fraction of a second. So for example, let's say that you're talking to someone and you give them really amazing news uh, of yourself. Now, sometimes they may appear to act happy for you. Um, but in the microsecond after you give them the news, you'll see their initial micro expression or their initial facial reaction. And sometimes by someone's initial facial reaction when responding to some news or an event, you can really see how they truly feel about a situation. So this can actually re reveal a person's true emotions even when they try to conceal or suppress them because these are involuntary. So recognizing these micro expressions does require keen observation and a bit of practice. But if you can master the skill and you can master this facial action coding system, I can guarantee you that you can actually improve your emotional intelligence and build trust with those around you. So let's take a look at a few examples. So let's take a look at happy. So you can see that when someone's happy, a few things happen. Number six, so number six, your cheek raises. Number 25, your lips part. And number 12, uh, your lip corner puller. So the corner of your lip gets pulled. And this is a universal micro expression. So meaning, let's say you're talking to someone in your team and you give them a task. If you see these three things happening, you can universally tell that, okay, they are happy about this task. Now, let's take another example. Let's say someone is angry. You see a few things happening. Uh, you see number five, their upper lid raised. So their upper lid is raised. Number four, their brow is raised. Their lids under their eyes also tighten. You can also see their lip tighten, uh, their lip pressed, and oftentimes you'll also see their chin raised a little bit. So if you're talking to someone or you're in the middle of a you know, high stakes negotiation and you see some of these things happen, you can tell that the person is getting a little bit impatient and a little bit angry. Now, another example, let's take surprise. Now, when some, someone is surprised, their inner brow is raised, their outer brow is raised, you can see that their upper lip is raised, and their jaw dropping. 
we can see in a lot of cartoons when uh, a character is surprised, uh, you see their jaw drop. So that is also something to watch out for. So for example, uh, if you're giving someone news or you're telling them about a potential event that's occurring and you know you thought they had read up on it, but you see this reaction, you can see that they're surprised. They had no idea what's going on. So we can see guys that by going through each of these action units, the inner brow raising, the outer brow raising, the brow lowering, we have the upper lid raising, the cheek raising, the lid tightening. We also have like the nose wrinkling, which all often happens when someone is disgusted. Uh, we have the upper lip raises, uh, the lip corner pulls. We have uh, the dimple uh, coming into play here. Sometimes it happens when someone is con contempt. Um, we also have things like uh, the lip corner depressing, the chin raising, the lip stretching or tightening, uh, the lip pressing, the lip parting, or the jaws dropping. Now, this might seem complex, guys, but these are everyday things that you see in yourself and in others, right? Try to make an expression. You'll probably see a lot of these things uh, align with uh, what uh, Ekman's facial action coding system has said. So I'm not telling you guys to memorize all this, but if we can go through this, we can practice reading other people as expression based on what we're what we've seen here. And if we can even point out a few things, right? So for example, when someone is scared, maybe I don't need to identify all of one, four, two, five, twenty-five, and twenty, but I def identify a few key things. Let's say that I notice that oh, his lips are parting, and his um. Uh, lips are also stretching a little bit. Maybe I can see that, oh, maybe that reminds me. Uh, it's part of the fear uh, micro expression. So they might be a little bit scared. So even if we can get a few of these, it gives us such a strong tool and such a strong weapon uh, to actually read other people and actually become more aware of our micro expressions and overall become better communicators ourselves. So uh, I've attached this visual in the resources section of this module, guys, I really, really recommend going through it a few times. It will really go a long way in improving our communication. And in fact, I can go ahead to say it will transform it. So let's actually take a look at a few practical applications of FACTS, which is the facial action coding system in leadership. So this, uh, this is really useful in negotiations, for example, because by recognizing micro expressions, you can actually gain insights into the emotion and the intention, uh, uh, intentions of your negotiation partners, allowing you to adjust your approach and secure better outcomes. This also works, guys, in team dynamics, because understanding your team members' emotions uh, that are uh, visible on their face can help you address concerns, resolve conflicts, and also maintain a positive work environment. Finally, this is so, so valuable when you're assessing the credibility of the other person. Is what you're, the other person is saying, is it the truth? Are they lying to you? Well, recognizing someone's facial expressions or recognizing when someone's facial expressions don't align with their words can actually alert you to a potential deception or a hidden agenda. Sometimes, unfortunately, it does happen in the corporate world. So overall, Ekman's facial action coding system offers you a powerful tool for understanding the emotions of those around you through the recognition and the interpretation of micro expressions. By mastering the skill, you can actually go ahead and enhance your emotional intelligence, improve your interpersonal relationships, and make more informed decisions in various situations. So I hope this model was helpful, guys. But guess what? We're not done yet. Uh, join me in the next module where we're going to continue going deeper into the world of body language and the world of nonverbal communication.